When setting up a Laravel application, there are two directories that your web server needs write access to. The first is the storage directory, and the second is a directory within your bootstrap folder called cache. The way you're gonna give this write access is you need to first figure out which system user your web server is running as. To do this, I'm gonna jump over to the notes that accompany this video. I wanna grab a command from here. What this command's gonna do is it's gonna search the processes running on your server, and it's gonna look for any processes related to Apache or Nginx, which are the two most common web servers we run Laravel on. So let's copy this command and run it. And from this output, we see several references to Apache. So that tells me that's what this demo server is running. And in the far left column, we see the system user associated with that Apache server. Now we can ignore this last process because that's simply just reporting uh, the process for the command that we just ran. We're gonna also ignore any lines owned by the root user. That's our main system admin user uh, on the server and that is not the user we're looking for here. So based on the elimination of those two processes, that leaves us with these middle processes, which are all owned by this user www.data. And so that tells us that our Apache web server is running under this user. So we need to make that user the owner of our storage and our bootstrap cache directories. For comparison, let's run the same command. I'm gonna switch over. I am currently logged into a server running Nginx. And from this output, we're gonna again, ignore the reference to the search process itself. We're gonna also ignore the process associated with root. And so that leaves us with one remaining process, which in this example is also owned by a user called www.data. So now that we've identified that user, let's talk about how to set the permissions. And again, I'm gonna jump back to the notes that accompany this video. Uh, near the end, I have two change ownership commands we're gonna run. This command's gonna include the user we want to change the owner to, followed by the name of the directory we wanna change the ownership of. And we are gonna include the uh, recursive flag here. So this is gonna apply to these directories and any subdirectories within them. Let's start with the storage directory. And of course you would wanna change www data to whatever user you identified in the previous steps. But in my case, I can just leave it as is and run this. And then we'll grab the second command to do the same thing to our bootstrap cache directory. With that complete, I'm going to list my directory contents. And from this output, we could see the storage directory is now owned by the appropriate user. And then if we go into the bootstrap directory, list our directory contents again, we can confirm that the cache directory is also owned by the appropriate user. And of course we can test it in the application itself. This is what I was seeing previously when I was loading the application. I was getting a permission denied error. Specifically, you could see it was trying to write to that storage directory. It was unable to do so. So this error should be resolved now. So I'm just gonna refresh the page. And perfect, my application is now loading without any issues. Now, if you get to this point, your application still isn't running as expected. I have another guide that might be helpful. It's called Common Laravel Installation Issues. Uh, also, you're welcome to leave a comment below describing the issue you're facing, and I can try to point you in the right direction.